Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. So today's video, if you haven't guessed, it is going to be an updated closet tour. I've been switching my closet around like twice a year and I'm finally happy with the outcome of how it looks. My closet is right behind me. So I'm just gonna get straight into the video. Again, everything will be linked down below that I had purchased that is new. And that's about it. So let me show you my updated closet. So the first thing that you are noticing is probably that I got rid of all my cubbies. The reason for that is because I was sick of like always having wrinkled clothes. So I decided to donate those cubbies to a friend at work and start to hang up my clothes that I wear basically on the weekends or like even every day. Whatever clothes that require me to steam them I started hanging them up so it saves me time in the long run. So starting with the obvious, I do not have black hangers anymore. I have wooden hangers. These wooden hangers are from Amazon. I will have them linked down below. They are just such a good quality. I like the ones with the clips for my jeans. I'm wearing another pair of my jeans. So I have four pairs of jeans. Um, who knows? Maybe one day I'll just cut it down to two pairs, but as of right now, four works good for me. They're all different styles. They're all, some are high-waisted, as you guys can see, they're longer, some are short. So I like to keep those like that. And then coming on to here, the thing with these hangers is when it comes to putting sweaters and stuff on them, I actually purchased these little, um, I don't know what you call them, they're like stickies. So when the sweaters, go on them they don't fall obviously the tank tops didn't need that they only go inside the little indent here but everything else is on those little stickies and you got to really press down on them because they when I, I didn't press down on them when I put them on and they were coming off so you have to press really hard like on the um, stickiness so you have to apply a lot of pressure on them and then they won't come off. Uh, I know I shouldn't have added them to these, but who knows, maybe one day I will um, put these tank tops somewhere else. But it is summertime, so that's why I have them in the front. And then of course I have my dresses and stuff in the back. So these are all the clothes that I own that are like dress up clothes or everyday clothes. It's just right there front and center and things that I don't need to steam anymore. Moving on to this basket, it took me forever to find the right basket. Now, with this basket, it is, um, it's like a wire hanger kind of material. Um, it's sturdy enough to hold my pajamas, which are on this side, and my gym wear, which is on this side. I keep them all in here because these are things that do not need to be steamed, so I'm not gonna bother hanging them up. Uh, when I need to see what's in here, it's got handles on the side and then I just take it out and um, I go through it and then I just put it back in here. It's super simple and I just love the look of them. I bought this at Home Goods. It was around like $5 and it hasn't done me wrong since. I've had it for over a month and I don't know, I really like it. This cloth comes off and you can put it in the wash, but it barely ever gets dirty. So, I mean, I always put clean clothes in there. So that's about it, yeah. So I just have my pajamas in my gym clothes. Again, some pajamas I use for the gym, like regular t-shirts, things like that. So that's why it's all in one bin. Up top is just the regular essentials, which is my winter comforter. Bring that out only in the fall and the winter. I have my bathing suit and my towel up there, which I've been using because it's summertime, so I just take it down. Uh, and then I have my luggage, so when I go traveling, that is the only thing I take. I only do a carry-on, that's all I need. So yeah, that's why this empty space is there, that empty space is all there. I don't need these drawers right here. So some people feel like if they're there, then use them, but I have the tendency to just leave them empty. I love the look of the emptiness. Moving on to this section. For this little bag up here, this is a bag from Pacifica. They sent me a little PR package, which I thought was so cute. They were the only company that did that because other companies, I always tell them no, because you guys know I don't need any more junk. But I was so happy that Pacifica sent me this. So what I keep in here are three things. My bras, my regular work underwear, and my period underwear. Most of it is in the wash. 
but I haven't been using any pads or tampons, so I keep my period underwear in here. I absolutely love them. I will do a whole video on them soon, but yeah, stay tuned for that. When it comes to the bamboo box, you're probably wondering, Kira, what do you use this for? Well, this box was on Amazon. I believe it was like 20 something dollars. This was used for tea. And as I open it, you can see these little slots and it's for tea. But as you can see, I converted it into socks and underwear. Kind of like the little contraption I had before, but with it not showing. I feel like it's nice and hidden and it's something I don't need to see. If you do purchase this, please be careful. This little knob came separate. I had to screw it on. And this is all like cardboard like this is and even the inside right here like this is cardboard as well so you have to treat it delicately it is fragile obviously this wood right here is real it's bamboo so this is pretty sturdy but this drawer is not I did not know that when I purchased it so I'm very very careful with this little guy I just love the how aesthetically pleasing it's looking in here now especially with the wooden box I just think it's cute and obviously I just Put that up there and that's basically it um they do have bigger sizes but since i do laundry every thursday i don't wear socks every day so if i'm home and i don't work i'm not wearing socks sometimes i wear socks to bed if it's the winter time but majority of the time i'm not wearing a lot of socks that's why i do not own a lot of socks when it comes to girly like underwear i only wear that once in a while as well i mostly stick towards my regular underwear which I wear the regular underwear like the work underwear to the gym as well I'm not here to be looking sexy 24 7 you guys and I feel like if I owned like 20 socks then I don't know I feel like 10 of them will probably go to waste and I'll never wear them and I feel like if I was to have like 20 pairs of socks and put them in there and but if I do laundry every Thursday and I'm only using like five pairs of socks then the 15 pairs that are in there are going to waste because I'm only using five pairs out of those socks. It just makes no sense. It really doesn't. So I try to work things out with my like laundry schedule. So there you guys have it. That is my closet. It's fairly empty. It is not what you see on Pinterest. Not everything is perfect. Um, nothing's supposed to be perfect, you guys. Uh, you know, it just depends on what you like. And I am so happy with these wooden hangers. Oh, they're the best hangers I've ever had. And I did like the black ones. The black ones did go to my boyfriend. But the thing with the black ones was that the um, velvet part was, like, coming off and going on to my, all my clothes. You guys know I wear neutrals. So I wear a lot of tans, a lot of um, white, beige, all like that. And it was showing on there. So I had to constantly get like a lint roller and like constantly lint roll like this part. It was annoying. So I invested in some wooden hangers. Yes, wooden hangers can get pricey, but it's worth it. They are eco-friendly and not to mention they look damn good. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter because it's hangers. They're supposed to just hang up your clothes and do that. But I like the look of them, as you guys can tell. I just, I, every time I go in my closet... I feel like, like I want to get ready. I want to actually open the door just to see how it looks. And it's been like this for about a month. So I really, really enjoy it. So yeah, let me know down below if you prefer wooden hangers or if you prefer the plastic hangers or wire hangers or velvet hangers, whatever ones you prefer, let me know down below. I want to see how many people like wooden hangers. I know my sisters are not a fan. They tell me, Kira, why did you get old lady hangers? I'm like, what do you mean old lady hangers? I like it. Um, but yeah, we're constantly making fun of each other. So what siblings do not make fun of each other? But anyways, you guys, I'm going to leave you on that note. And I hope you enjoyed. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye.